Welcome back everyone. We are into the second half now of the seventh edition of the Friday Night Football Showdown. Big matchup in 6A tonight. George County hoping to start region play on the right foot, taking on Long Beach. There's only one man who can bring us those highlights, the undisputed champion of former Saints wide receiver trivia and the sensei of our digital dojo. That's Mr. Dylan Jones. Scissor kicks and Danny Obramowitz. Thanks, Blake. I sure do appreciate it. It's no secret that the Long Beach Bearcats have struggled in region play over the years. They've lost 35 straight district games. One week after an overtime loss, they're tasked with defeating the George County Rebels. Can they beat the streak? Let's Take a look. The Bearcats looking to bounce back from that overtime loss last week. As for George County, he is back. Deuce Knight under center for the Rebels tonight, but it's Long Beach with the fireworks early on. Andre Windham gets the pitch and absolutely dusts the defense. No one will catch him. He strolls right into the end zone and makes it a 7-0 ball game. Next possession. It's the Rebels here with the ball, and Deuce Knight wastes no time. Tosses it over the middle, and it is Snag by Bryn Moody, who goes in for six. The PAT ties things up at seven. Good offense so far, but what about the defense? Brody Peeler has you covered. He will pick off the screen here. Will eventually get hogged down by receiver DJ McNair, but the damage has been done, setting up a possible play of the night. Hmm? Hmm? Will Brady here at quarterback will drop back, tosses it up into a sea of white, but it's Rashad Foxworth with the snag. Tap the head, talk your talk, young man. The Rebels. They do follow it up here with a rushing touchdown by Deuce. He walks in to take a 14 to 13 lead. Both teams going tit for tat early on, but the Bearcats would not score again. It's the Rebels cruising to the victory. They win it 48 to 13. Dylan, thank you so much as always. Deuce Knight back, Deuce Knight as advertised with George County. Pretty solid, it's, pretty it's solid. dangerous what they can do when number two is back there. Now over on Highway 57, another kickoff to region play. This time over in 5A, Gaucher hitting the road to take on Van, the Van Cleve Bulldogs. To pick this one up in the second, Gaucher up 7-0. Van Cleve driving quarterback Wyatt Adams going to find Junior Harris over the middle. Makes his man miss, and he's in for six. Extra point would tie everything up at seven. And Gaucher going to fire back pretty quickly, though. Trey Irving dropping back with time. Going to find Kane and Rush all by his lonesome. No rush really required in that one. Going to stroll his way into the end zone for six. And the Gators would take a 14-7 lead. Van Cleve now with the ball, trying to answer back from that. Adams going to drop back, looking for Dalen Moore down the middle, but going to be picked off by Kingston McNeil. But a late flag is going to keep the ball with the Bulldogs. So still another chance. Another crack at it. A few plays later, Adams hit as he throws. This time, no flag. Frederick Nicholson with the user lurk. If you're playing college football, that's what that is. Sure hands going to add in the sweet feet. Takes that one back to the house for a touchdown. The Gators would take a 28-7 lead after that. Gaucher takes this one big to open up region play. 47 to 14 over Van Cleef. Big win for the Gators there. Between the breaks now up in the Pine Belt. Homecoming at Laurel as Stone travels to the Golden Tornadoes. Game tied at 7. Jamel Abney finds a seat. Right off the kickoff makes a few Tomcats miss and he has reservations for 6. Out faces everyone all the way to the end zone. That puts the Tornadoes ahead 14 to 7. Later, Laurel trying to tack on more. They take a deep shot. Tomcats defender Chance Roberts jumps the route. Intercepts it for a critical takeaway. This Stone defense showing why they're one of the best, if not the best, in the region so far. Tomcats looking to take advantage. Xander Howard airs it out deep. What a ball Ooh. here to Avion Springfield. Perfection from the Stone offense. That knocks the game at 14. The two would later connect for another long score as the Tomcats down the Tornadoes 24. You want. Huge win for Stone. Hey, how about some Thursday night action Woo! from last night? Gulfport and Biloxi getting started early. Neither side scored a touchdown the last time out. Both had a bye week last week, so they got to go all the way back to September 20th for the last time these teams found the end zone. Biloxi's defense showing up a little bit early, though, for Gulfport. Willie Polk Jr. going to sack Dane Sullivan. That would force a Gulfport punt early on. And on the ensuing Indians drive, Wyatt Pyron in the offense trying to break that touchdown drought, and they do connects with Tristan Haynes. Extra point would give Biloxi a 7 to nothing lead. The Admirals now trying to answer in the second quarter. Sullivan moving out of the pocket. Jalen Anderson picks that one off at the goal line, brings it back across the 20, and Biloxi would take that 7 to nothing lead into the halftime break. Into the third quarter now. Pirate trying to move the Indians down the field. This gets picked up by Pierre Felder. Back-to-back -back number 7 interceptions. Gulfport would take advantage. Sullivan decides to drop back, throws it into double 
Apple coverage here, but watch this catch. That's Chris John Burns who somehow comes down with it. And he gets in for the touchdown. Extra point ties the game at seven. Later, Gulfport looking to take the lead. Decoria Payton bulldozes into the end zone. That gives the Admirals a seven point advantage. Ahead to the fourth down. Biloxi trying to drive down the field and answer. William Live puts the ball on the ground. Watch out here. Pierre Felder recovers. He's all over the field here in the second half. Cooper Crosby would take advantage of the short field. Punches that one in as Gulfport puts this one on ice. Gulfport downs Biloxi 21-7. And that will bring us into our final break here on the Friday Night Football Showdown, but we are not done just yet. Not a shot. We're going to bring you all the scores from around the coast, plus our play of the night that you certainly will not want to miss.